Hi family, Alicia Antoinette here with the Energy Healing Channel TV and we're going to go ahead and read the energy of the day. Today is September 18th, 2020, so let's go. Okay family, so I'm going to start by Clearing some of the energy. Put some sage. Luckily, I was able to go and get some more. So I'm just gonna kind of clear the energy here so that the reading can come through clearly. Okay, I'm just saging myself. Okay, so I'm going to start with shuffling the cards. So today is the 18th, and that adds up to 9 in numerology. And 9 is a very special number. If you haven't ever noticed or paid attention, you know, anything that's added to 9 is itself. So I would give it a try and see. Um, when I first found that out, I was like, oh, really? I never know, I had never noticed that, you know? And um, just a really interesting little tidbit. But yeah, today was a pretty, pretty busy day. I am doing this reading a little bit later than I usually like to do it. And I actually wanna start doing them so that I can upload them more in the morning. So I'm gonna be working that out in my schedule so that way I can just have time to, you know, to upload them and so that you guys can get them a little bit earlier. This is a little bit something new on my channel, so I'm working out the kinks, you know. I am still gonna be doing content on, you know, Reiki and energy healing, but I mean, the channel is all topics of energy healing, okay? So getting a reading of the energy of the day is very helpful to be aware of, you know, things that might, interfere with what you, what you got going on so that you have more of a, a heads up and I really enjoy doing readings I get to move energy and release energy from my space as I do them so today I'm gonna go ahead and pull nine like I said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the first card that we have is the Prince of Cups. I really do enjoy these cards because they are detailed in their pictures 
and with this card just starting off okay so it's a cups card so it's going to be really dealing with the emotional space it has a lot of blue it's you know the whole tone of the card is blue and i'm seeing some lighter purple lavender on this his seat okay and his bird is getting some water so it's replenishing itself and these white clouds in the background it's almost as if you know he just finished kind of coming through a situation that was really foggy and really unclear to this new area in the emotional space where emotions are clearer, they're more congruent. And we, I'm saying that because of kind of the overall tone of the car, which is a blue. Although his body looks more blue if you look at it kind of far away, but if you really look at it, it's actually a, a tone of green and a little bit of white. So as I'm looking at this, I'm seeing the white energy as being released. Okay, so he's releasing a lot of white foreign energy around emotions. So that's one thing that's happening today is just distinguishing, you know, your emotion opposed to others' emotions. And other people's emotions can be a variety of things, you know, from people at work, to your family, to your children, to other extended family. But a lot of the times it is our immediate family, those that we are around the most. Okay, and, and it just looks like it's more of a, a replenishing, like he's taking a little bit of a break, he's not too much into his emotions, so, to, you know, starting the day, it's gonna be not too much really being emotional, so to say, okay? Okay, and so we have a Trump's card. All right, and it's the Hierophant. Let you guys take a look and see the detail. And it's the number five. Okay, so a lot of five-centric types of things going on here. We have two pentacles. Okay, we have the larger pentacle over kind of the main body. And then we have the smaller pentacle around the heart chakra. A little bit solar plexus, but mostly mostly heart chakra. And then we have the goddess here in the middle. Okay, holding the moon. And then we have various kind of astrological signs and symbols and at the crown there's a beautiful flower that is showing in bloom okay and when i'm looking at this he, uh, he's also holding this tri or triple ring okay so the colors that we see in this card are a lot of reddish browns is kind of the overall tone he is wearing an orange kind of gown or robe and he has a pleasant look on his face and so does the goddess and this symbol here with the two fingers that's a symbol of a blessing okay and so I'm seeing this as a, as a almost like an auspicious card 
in the realm of money because it is a tour it is Taurus we see a lot of a lot of Taurus here in this card and so really getting a blessing okay, I'm just clearing some energy yeah getting a blessing and really shining through the darkness because as we can see kind of in the back the outlay of the background it's black and dark but with you know controlling the crown and owning it and shining the light it's gonna be welcoming in blessings okay and I'm seeing also getting in touch with the goddess within and also getting in touch with the inner child okay our inner child really helps to bring out the fun side of us you know as adults we kind of pick up on everything has to be serious and everything has to be mundane but when we, we keep a balance between that I mean yeah there are times when when things are are not funny right but you don't want to always be in that kind of lull of seriousness okay so just really keeping things lighthearted to help welcome in and bring in blessings okay so the next card that was drawn is the princess of swords okay So we've seen her pop up before and yeah so I'm seeing a lot of the same thing so although it is kind of opening up a little bit more but I see you know being in a growth period with which words or which kind of opinions to defend and we can see here, you know, she's basically defending something that's no longer in present time because it's behind her. Also, there's a, just a lot of black and kind of gray, inner, inner, gray and white energy releasing. And I'm seeing that really releasing out of her legs and out of the bottoms of her feet, um, out of her lower chakras, chakras one and two. And I'm seeing that, you know, she has her wings here, but she's opting not to really use them. She's in a space where She's growing. And learning how to express herself, to express her emotions without being defensive. Yeah, we can see a little bit of a gold green here. Okay, and a little bit of that color there as well. And so, it's really, you know, she is looking forward, so she is moving forward, but at the same time, she's kind of still concerned with the stuff in the past. So it's like, as soon as she lets that go, she'll be moving more into the green and the yellow areas of colors. She's already, you know, her her body color is green so she's in a growth period so she's she may not be you know you may not be feeling that well you may really be thinking about past conversations that you've had with people and thinking about how you could have said it better or how you could have expressed yourself better that type of thing
Okay, the next card that was drawn is the Six of Discs. Again, with this card, and I'm I'm seeing a lot of relation to the energy of Venus because with the just with with some of the colors in this card. So tonight, you know, this pink is really emanating along with these orange kind of orange reds here. I do also see the blue being really grounding and helping to release things that help, I mean, things that hinder us from being successful and really just drawing those away and out and just allowing the inner part of our most deepest desires to come through in the earth realm here because the more you're connected to your passion and the more you embrace your passion the more success you will have monetarily okay and doing things like worrying about money and things like that are not really helpful because it it detours your kind of your your overall goal so it's a really nice we're just seeing a nice alignment uh, when it comes to astrological signs and just a real nice burst of earth energy and earth magic of swords okay. all right so yeah this one I'm seeing a lot of purple and yellow and I'm seeing that, you know, these swords are indicating a central, kind of a central idea. So if you're planning something or if you've been planning something and you've been kind of all over the place, you know, this idea, that idea, this idea, but not really focusing your attention and your words and what you how you want your miracle or your blessing to come to you I'm seeing you really focusing the words okay focusing on your innermost heart's desire okay you know I can't help but see really just getting in touch with your passion and although we don't see a lot of red, uh, there is, you know, the little in the middle, really focusing in and concentrating on the passion, leaving all the other words that people may throw your way, you know, especially when you're getting started. If you have been thinking about starting a business or if you've been thinking about going back to school and you've been talking about it but then you know other people have their opinion that they want to put in on your desire I'm seeing just really letting all of that fluff go that's kind of what I'm seeing here with all these other lines and sharp points just letting all that go and just really focusing and and uplifting what's inside we have is happiness. 
So it's the Nine of Cups. All right, very beautiful card. I just love the gold. You know, the emotions are gonna be really beautiful and bright and flowing. The, ex the expression of emotions are gonna just flow and they're gonna connect. They're gonna connect in such a way that it makes sense. There's not gonna be any jagged or misunderstanding. There's gonna be just lots of flow. I mean, even the background behind the cups, I'm seeing this beautiful, almost, I would say, more of a violet purple, okay? And then it's just flowing down into, and, gr and grounding in. So yeah, connecting the passions with the words, and, embracing the light within because the light within will shine brightly through the words that you say. The next one that we have is the two of dis and the word on the card is change. darker blues, violets, purples, lavenders, purple. So there's a lot of purple in this card. We have the two yin yang symbols, okay? So just an indication of the input output, input output, and refreshing, refreshing of the energy comes to money so there you may have been kind of in a stagnant position financially or you may have you may be you know part of the people trying to get a business loan and you can't you kind of finally have things lined up where you can apply and actually get approved so there's gonna be some positive changes when it comes to the money space and it looks like once once that money flows in, there's gonna be this nice, just continuous flow and profits are gonna to continue to increase as the energy kind of goes, cycles through, cycles through, cycles through and giving it the energy of infinity. The two of cups and it has the word love very beautiful card okay and so I'm seeing about three levels of colors in the background so we see this beautiful bluish purple and then there's a hard line and then yellow and green and that's sticking out to me today because it looks like you know going along going along and then there's a shift there's gonna be a shift in the energy of love when it comes to 
emotions and expressing the emotions. The emotions are, you know, they're gonna be flowing freely and then grounding in, you know, grounding out here into the basin of, of the water. Uh, but there's just, you know, there's gonna be this synchronicity with either another partner or even a partnership that's not romantic, okay? Just because it says love doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be referring to a romantic relationship because you can love working with your coworkers. You know, you can love working with your boss if you have a cool boss. You can love working with these different people that typically kind of get the bad rap. They get the, you know, the bashing or even just a business partnership, you know, if you have been talking with a friend about a business and, or just a business idea, I mean, you know, and you guys are like, you know, this, this is it. This is what we should do. There's going to be a lot of auspiciousness with that because that partnership is, is, almost destined to work optimally or perfectly okay all right and the last card of the day i would say the troublesome prince of this okay And you know, the only reason why I say the troublesome Prince of Dis is because really looking at this card, it almost, it's more of a reality check, okay? Because we have a lot of uplifting things here. We wanna just make sure that we're not making things harder than they should be for ourselves. We wanna make sure that we are not pushing ourselves to the point of exhaustion and even our resources. Okay, we want to make sure that we have balance. And although, you know, the card is where he's moving forward, but there's a there there can be a bit of the frustration because carrying the past problems as we can see with the orbs in the back. Okay? And it just really kind of ties in with the Princess of Swords because we don't want to carry with us things from the past. We don't really want to carry things with us, especially when it especially when it comes to the financial space. You know, if there's not the greatest relationship with money, you know, that needs to be addressed moving forward, especially if you're going to be opening a new business or if you are going to be purchasing a new house, purchasing a new car, you want to have that relationship with money better defined, okay? So that way it grows and it doesn't end up where you're like this, you know, the wheels are turned in, it's all black, he's, a, he's frustrated and upset, he's turning like this reddish brown his, you know, his uh, mule here is malnourished, like he's going because that's his job, but he's not very, he's not looking very healthy. And, you know, he, you have everything at your disposal, you have everything, you have the world at the, at the tips of your fingers, but it's just really a caution card to make sure that you're leaving things that drag you down in the past and you look forward and walk your path forward and make sure that it is golden. All right, I appreciate your time and I enjoyed spending time with you today energy of the day and so I wish you well and I will see you 
on the next one. Peace and Ashe.